Life is all about entertainment and so on. You ever wonder if like the news of the world, the news of the world is just one big movie script? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a little bit of a, of a societal vlog. And we're gonna talk about news and how you watch it, how we consume it or address it, and how the rest of the world uh, looks at news. News, as uh, Steve Carell said in Anchorman, uh, or whatever that was, what movie that was. It wasn't Anchorman, it was, um, it was some sort of uh, other movie. I forget what it was. But anyway, we're fascinated by news. I mean, we do scan the headlines just to get a pulse on what is happening uh, around us because you, you need some sort of awareness to kind of navigate the world. You need to know what the, the loonies are, are, are talking about, whether it's protests in uh, progressive cities on the left coast or whatever, wherever they're getting angry about something, um, to other fear-based news, whether it's crime, guns, what you do with your body, with your uh, fetus, um, and, and all sorts of other things, and all, all sorts of geopolitical uh, issues like borders, wars, and all sorts of humanitarian issues going on. And, and people like, just you, you ever hear the phrase, oh, I gotta catch up on the news, or, you know, why? You don't really have to. I mean, what you need to catch up on is your own life. Um, and the things that you do, you know, whatever your job is, whatever your family, whatever kind of family you have, and the things that you, um, you know, buy and consume. Um, and of course, yeah, that's the economic news. So yeah, every little news uh, story has a bunch of people, I guess the audience, watching it or participating. You know, the stock market has their own people all talking about rate cuts and da 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 da. And then you have the political, um, um, I guess you call them uh, groupies. That, you know, you, it's sort of like, like watching sports. That, this is why I think it's kind of scripted. You know, you got your Boston Red Sox, which is the, I guess, the, uh, the liberals, and then the uh, Yankees, for instance, or the conservatives, and everybody's in their camp. They don't really care what's going on or which players are on the team. You notice how the players constantly change, but they're still rooting for that team. And I guess that's what the left and right does, or the Democrats and Republicans, or whatever you want to label them as. But I, I just wonder, like, does anybody ever think in their own mind, like, why am I participating in this? Why don't I have my own little movie script to live in and not worry about what they're talking about, which, which is, it really boils down to people are just talking about things that may or may not be happening in the world or the state or the country or whatever part of the globe, <laughs> globe that you um, live on. So, if you ever step back and say, why am I watching this? Why do I care? How does it affect me and my family? And naturally, there's some things that do affect you and your family. And that, those things you can't really control a lot of times, like weather. I mean, okay, here comes the weather. Um, hopefully, I've prepared myself and I have a strong enough house and I've taken care of the things I need to take care of to, to be prepared for the unknown. But, I mean, how much of the news or, that you watch, like whether it's celebrity gossip or whatever it may be, or the next new th iPhone that comes out, I mean, does it really matter? I mean, that news, if it's important enough, will always find you. Like, say there's a big like, tsunami coming. I'm fairly certain you don't need to watch TV to know that it's coming to hit you because other people will be running in the other direction. And you don't really need to know what's going on. And a lot of times, like with, even with weather, for instance, oh, severe uh, tornado watch, nothing, 99 out of 100, 999 out of 1,000 times, nothing bad happens. It's just, it's just like a fear program. So I, I'm just wondering how many people will ever take a step back and say, why am I watching this? And I guess most of the people, if they're honest with themselves, have that, uh, if there's a psychological addiction to it. Oh, I want to see what's next. This is why social media uh, is so popular and hard to break. The habit's very hard to break is because it's what's next. It's this human need to, to get something new. It, uh, and I find it fascinating. I think news is a bad way of getting that fix for getting something new 
because it doesn't really augment your life. You don't become more intelligent or more capable or more productive because you watch the news. And this is exactly why our method of watching the news isn't watching talking heads uh, debate something. And most of the time, that too, we believe, is scripted or they're talking about something or have a viewpoint for a particular reason. It's usually to benefit someone else or someone else's movement. Um, we, we subscribe to various uh, news organizations via RSS reader on our internet browser. We use a, a program called Inno Reader. And you know, you, I, I subscribe to you know, even points of view that I don't necessarily agree with because I want to know what the rest of the world is thinking because that'll help you be more prepared in case something does happen. But it's, it's not even about that. It's just if the more you know about the world around you, the, 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 you know, the more intelligent choices you can make. Uh, day to day. You can just know who to avoid and what, what things are, are, are not good. So, so we just scan the, the headlines like from a, like an eagle on a, on a perch somewhere. We just want to see what's going on. We don't get into the nitty gritty uh, who said what, he said this, oh my god. We don't really care because none, none of that stuff affects us. So I think everybody should take a step back from the news and, and start reading more important things or watching more important things like how to improve your life or to save money or to make things um, more sensible. And it isn't, this isn't about apps, by the way. Oh, I can just press a button because you're relinquishing control and you're reducing brain power when you, when you uh, put too much reliance into apps and other technology like automatic light bulbs and thermostats and stuff like that. You know, do DIY, do it yourself, and, and you feel better, you sleep better, and so on. Just get just static out of your mind and, and focus on things. And then, by the way, this isn't TV shows, you know, even though some are good. You can find some actually helpful things if you really want to watch something passively. You can find really good uh, content creators on YouTube. It's just a matter of um, sorting through the fluff to uh, avoid people who are doing it purely for... Uh, making money for themselves and or they really just want to help others by sharing their wisdom uh, for posterity and for the record before it gets memory hold. I don't know. So that's it. Reduce your news, uh, to, especially those uh, cable channels and so on. So that's my little rambling for today. I hope somebody got it to the end. So please subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff. Thank you for watching.